Welcome to a flashbang update on Pokemon Homes patch 2.1.1. Brand new update that just went live and with it came a couple of new features in Pokemon Home. However, I've obviously not the one you were expecting. Let's have a look. So as I covered a couple of days ago, Pokemon Home patch 2.1.1 was going live today. It was a big update or rather a long time for it to be updated. But the update itself added only a few things. It did not add Pokemon Home compatibility for Pokemon Scarlet Violet as everyone's hoping and expecting to arrive soon. I personally was expecting that to be announced on Pokemon Day, it didn't happen, and I was hoping for it to arrive early this month, which we're kind of in already. So it looks like the Pokemon company themselves changed from spring 2023 to early 2023, and that's very, very ambiguous. That could be the first half of 2023. We don't know when that's gonna be, so hopefully that doesn't mean they extend the deadline for when that should be due. However, it feels like everything with Pokemon Scarlet Violet, from this to even the uh, DLC release times, moving it from summer to fall, seems like everything's been pushed down a bit. So I don't know when we'll see this. Hopefully they don't just drop an update out of nowhere and tell us, oh, it's gonna be due in the second half of 2020. I hope not, because guys, they're, they're a little bit behind on this. Anyway, that's for patch 2.1.1. What actually arrived? Well, added online competitions information. So as you guys know from the new update for Pokemon Scarlet Violet, competitions have finally gone live. They now host official competitions in Scarlet Violet. And then this Pokemon Home update, they're now adding the battle data from those competitions. They've also added the ability to view Pokemon natures from Pokemon ranking screens battle data. So in a past update, the last big update for Pokemon Home, they added the battle data feature, which allowed you to see a lot of the e details about Pokemon that were being used in online in Pokemon Scarlet Violet. They've now added the ability to see their natures, all right? Now, this is interesting because if you use a mint to change the nature of a Pokemon in the game, the nature you see in Pokemon Home is going to be that changed nature. So technically from the game's point of view, you haven't changed the Pokemon's nature, you're just kind of changing its appearance. That's at least what mints appear to be, but in practice they are a different nature. So Pokemon Home is full on telling you that Pokemon is that nature of the mint you use. So that's an interesting distinguishment there to make. Very, very interesting. They are probably going to ease into, slowly but surely, the mints full on changing the natures solidly. I mean, that is in practice what they actually do. They're not going to mess around with pretending that, oh, you use this mint, but it still has the previous nature, but you're now going to be able to use the features of this current nature. They're not going to do that anymore. So it looks like that's what's going on there. Next up here is linking a Nintendo account requires the use of mystery gift feature. And this, I assume, is just for Pokemon Home, uh, which means you can't just make a new user on your Switch and then go into Pokemon Home, brand new, and then get a mystery gift. Bam, you can't do that. You're gonna have to actually connect it to a Nintendo account. So that's that. I mean, you know, fine. You can also make loads of Nintendo accounts. I'm sure a lot of people have been doing that in order to claim their free uh, weekly passes for Nintendo Switch Online and stuff in the past. So it's just something that they've now added and connected to Pokemon Home. You're gonna have to have a Nintendo account to be able to claim the mystery gifts. Not that there have been that many anyway. And of course, you can only get one mystery gift per Nintendo account. It's kind of standard anyway. That's it. That's the full update for Pokemon Home 2.1.1. It's what we might have expected, obviously. It was a bit too short after the Pokemon Day announcements to bring in transferability, compatibility with Pokemon Scarlet Violet, especially considering they just didn't even announce it at all in Pokemon Day. So, oh uh, well, it can't be that far away. It's not that far away. They're definitely gonna have this sorted out, and once they do, we're gonna be able to do some of the spiciest giveaways, Hoopa, Meloetta, and I think Meloetta is one that can be shiny, so mythicals that we've never been able to do before. Drop the subscribe button right now so you can actually see when we do those giveaways, because you'll be able to get one probably for the first time in your Pokemon history. So it's gonna be really easy to get one from me. I'll let you know when all that stuff goes live. Thanks for watching, until then, have a good one, bye.